Comes from the U.S. state of Georgia. Hello, everybody. Welcome. The Asian qualifier between Philippines and Jordan is underway. And Philippines driving right in and scoring with the first attempt. Junmar Fajardo with the assist to Jamar Perez. And the long one, no good. Now Brownlee. Over to Perez. And Mo Hussein hustles up the floor. Hussein's had a lot of issues with his knees and whatnot, but he's out there battling away. Just a real competitor, as is this man that's shooting the basketball, Dark Tucker. Zai and strokes the three-pointer. Give a team like Jordan two or three chances, they're eventually going to knock down a three. Scotty Thompson. Our Tucker gets it back from Alha Marche and then has it knocked away by Perez. Shot clock down to nine. Jordan keep it. Here's Dar Tucker, feet set, but a little bit wayward, a little bit to the right. And Brownlee misses the layup. He got to the rim. His eye will be a second three. It will not. Perez just hands it off. To Fajardo. I'm just remembering, uh, can't remember if we saw Fajardo that was in that starting five in the opening graphic, because I remember saying we had a small starting five for this team, and certainly they have the seven footer out there. There's Hussein. One of the things he can do is knock down the three pointer, and he does. Not as many as he used to, but 32 years of age still has. Uh, some gas in the tank. And three-pointer right in reply for Philippines. In fact, what's interesting is uh, that was the first three-pointer in these qualifiers for Hussein. He had come in 0 for 9. So I guess sort of a good sign, but the problem that Jordan have is that Philippines will come out and shoot some threes themselves and knock them down. Especially when you bring Bobby Ray Parks off the bench. Oh, Alhan Marche. Oh, no, that's Freddie Ibrahim. Excuse me. Freddie appears to be ready. Oh, nice pump fake. Brownlee. And Alhan Marche looks like he caught an inadvertent. Elbow or arm to the face. Brownlee checked on him. Into the corner. Bazai, you can count it. Number nine looking fine today. His second three. And Chot Rays calls timeout. They just have a, a composed play about them, Jordan, that they figured they figured out how they want to play basketball. It doesn't, it doesn't matter who they play against. I mean, the big question for me is when you really apply the defensive pressure to this team how are they going to respond that puts a lot of pressure on Ibrahim but right now they're able to just sit out there passing around take their threes and one of the advantages to missing threes oftentimes you get those long rebounds we've seen that tonight Jordan up by seven Challenge number 
for seven. He's the only rebounder. Everybody else has hey, to go. rebound. Let's go. Right. go. interesting watching Bradley come out and play he really wanted to be a part of this team he's made his debut in this window but stealing some of his thunder here at the start of the game is as always Jordan who just uh, in my opinion kind of I don't want to say punch above their weight but it seems like people always underestimate this team and that is when they are at their most dangerous Scotty Thompson drives in. There's Fajardo. Oh, June Mar Fajardo missed a gimme. Really hard to understand how Fajardo doesn't make that shot. He elected to not try to dunk it, but just to put it off the deck. Here is Ibrahim putting it up and in. You can see him revving the engines right now. And there's no player more that's ready for the big moments in games than that guy right there, Freddie Ibrahim for Jordan. Brownlee gets in short. Here's Tucker. Well, Tucker's engine's revving all the time. Here he is driving in and scoring. What a season campaigner he is. He is. He has provided Jordan with so many incredible moments in his career. Dart Tucker. And the ball knocked away again. Dar Tucker crosses midcourt. And Philippines committing the foul. Ibrahim will go to the line. Dwight Ramos to the timeout has not done the trick, has it? Both of these teams played at the last FIBA Basketball World Cup in 2019. And just to show you how Jordan have an advantage when it comes to experience and continuity as Zayda Abbas comes in. So you had Abu Hawass, I mean Abu Hawass in that team as well as Dar Tucker, Ibrahim, Alhar Marche. Uh, Zayda Abbas and Al Dwari and all of those guys are still here in this team. So. Just goes to show you and, you know, and I'm not sure that Coach Wasim has settled on his final roster. Could even bring more players back with World Cup experience. So experience, continuity, obviously, this Jordan team may be a little older, 29 years of age, but I wouldn't say that's old. I think in international basketball, age is uh, certainly experience trumps fresh legs often. Ibrahim called for the foul on heading. Jordan Heading, 27 years of age. He is a big time scorer. Also plays in Japan, Nagasaki, 27 years of age, actually from Australia. There's Bazai and Abbas coming in, missing. Bobby Ray Parks. Three-point shot is good from Heading. Better get a hand in the face. When he starts seeing the ball go through the hoop, he can light it up quickly. Abbas. Pass it around. Now Heading stands in front of Ibrahim, who takes a very difficult shot, but just as a matter of course, just banks it in. No problem. He 
it down, Dark Tucker. And drills the three-pointer, and Jordan are punching, counter-punching, you name it. They're getting it done. 13-point lead here, nearly seven minutes into this opening frame. Headings pass intercepted. The quick outlet, Ibrahim, a lob to Zed Abbas. He comes down with it, goes up. And again, you talk about the experience and the comfort with playing with each other. And this game is just not going the way the Philippines anticipated. And Chot Ray's going to make a substitution. He's already brought Bobby Ray Parks into the game. And Bobby Ray turns it over, anticipating Mason Francis Amos to, uh, to be there for that pass. And again, continuity, same players being together. Jordan has it. This Philippines team does not have it. It is Tar Dark Tucker. So Dark Tucker is off to a fast start. No surprise there. Five points, nine points for Ibrahim, six for Bazai. I mean, if you want to have an entertaining few hours, go back and look at least at the highlights as Malonzo comes into the game. Well, you could delight yourself with looking at a lot of Malonzo highlights. He's, uh, he's electric as well. But look back at Jordan's Asia Cup campaign last summer and look at how many of their games were thrillers and how they really pieced together an amazing tournament. Ultimately did not get a medal, but they were, they, were, they were the talk of the town. Here's the drive and the basket and Ramos. Excuse me, that was yeah, Dwight Ramos. He's got shorter hair these days. Abbas has it knocked away. Brownlee on the break. And this time, oh, he misses. And there for the follow, the dunk. Malonzo, probably the first of many. Brownlee probably... Uh, Kicking himself for not making that shot. He, he's doing everything right but finishing. Dar Tucker. This is where Jordan has been able to answer. Jordan uh, Tucker, a three pointer. We might as well just have a, a new nickname called Big Time because that's just adopt that name. Dar Big Time Tucker. He almost looks too big for the occasion. No quaking in his boots. He's got eight points already. And Brownlee puts it up and in. Long two-pointer for Ibrahim. And there is the foul. Ahmed al putting it up and on the... After the rebound. So heading. Here is Brownlee. That's why you always hustle down the court and follow. Even if you don't get the ball, you need to be there for the rebound. And Alonzo showing some hops. Al-Harmache, good shooter, but misses the free throw. He came in shooting only 60%, in fact, from the free throw line. He does get the second to go, and his three-point shooting has been down a little bit as well. Came in only hitting three of 19. But that veteran savvy does a lot of things out on the court you have to appreciate, and gets a rebound there. Now 36 years of age, Al Harmache. Ibrahim fouled and goes to the line. Brownlee. Talk about age. Zed Abbas, 39 years of age. As his first personal foul, 14 foul for the police. Apparently 34 years of age. So Ibrahim at the line makes the first. Freddie's uh, now 26.
Youngest player on the team is Kamash. Really stands out like bright flashing lights. He's 20 years of age. Nobody else. Oh no, sorry, you got Hashem Abbas who's uh, 23 and Anaj Dwali who's 23, but everybody else is uh, mid to late 20s up to the granddad of all, Abbas. 39 years of age. I say that affectionately. Abbas, one of the good guys. Here is Audrey Parks. Ibrahim got a hand in the face. Final 10 seconds. I mean, this is this is this performance here in the first quarter is going to be uh, unsettling for Philippines fans. Oh, nice handoff. Alharmache goes up and he scores. What a first quarter, and all you have to ask is where is the defense in this game for the Philippines? Unbelievable. They've given up 33 points. Jordan doing pretty much anything they want to right now. Shooting 62% inside the arc. 33 to 14, Jordan on top of the Philippines at the end of one. And again, as you look at those numbers, I mean, five of eight inside the arc, six of 12 from deep, five of six at the free throw line. Alduari looking out and thinking, hmm, maybe they don't need me after all. I don't have to play. They play better without me. Certainly has been the case in the first quarter over the long haul. You take Alduari out of the game, though, and it changes the dynamic of the team. And that's no... Just a different different way that they're playing and it's working right now. Perez scored and everything looked okay, but Bazai came out. And once Jordan settled in, they were off to the races. Wamu's coming out and drilling it. I mean, it was kind of, you know, Jordan, the thing is, when they get the wind in their sails, they will make some shots. You know, that's, that's kind of a tough-ish shot from Ibrahim going up against Fajardo, but he makes it. Not really too much defense. And then when they started playing defense, as you see Malonzo with the putback, you get some you get some shots. Jordan just had seen the ball go in the basket. And anything they put up goes in. And we saw it with Ibrahim when it looked like he was taking a questionable shot, kind of fade away on a drive, and he banked it in from a few meters out. So download the app and get courtside 1981 in your phone. Scan in that barcode right there on your screen, folks. Quickly, get it. Video stream, schedule, scores, everything at your fingertips. So whatever you want to do, you can do it. Oh, look at Ibrahim drive in. And, and again, right now, Philippines have allowed them to get out and play. And Jordan are just having a good time. Brownlee spins. Alonzo takes it back outside. Ramos puts it up, high arcing shot. So he goes to the free throw line. Look at Ibrahim. And there you would think he would go to his right hand, but he's just fearless. He just puts the ball coming in from the right and goes up with the left hand. Ramos makes the first. Well, it's a 40 minute game and We'll see if this Philippines team can mount a comeback. Anytime you're down 21 points, it's a significant mountain that you have to climb. They've started to climb it, got it back to 19. But oftentimes, you don't get to the top of the mountain. Ibrahim, I mean, it is like a shoot around right now for Ibrahim. Freddy is ready once again. Jordan heading missing. There's another 
clutch player for this team, Abu Hawass. In those big moments, one of those players that will come up and make big shots, make big plays. Abbas decides to step out, and he nails the three. I mean, it's, uh, folks, is there a fire department nearby? Because you might need to call, call them to put this team out. They are blazing. 41 to 16. This could, be, this could end up being the, the highest scoring half of Jordan basketball of all time. Ibrahim might have twisted his ankle. He's kneeling at the other end. This was uh, the latest from Freddie. And the heading's got to get over there and, and guard him. Alonzo doesn't want a boss to go past him, and, uh, and probably in that case, you'd rather him beat you from deep than inside. But uh, at the end of the day, you need to get a hand in the face. Got to be a little bit closer. So, from back to a 21 point lead right now. Because of the shot clock, because of the three point shot, obviously, you can come back from bigger deficits, which you do see more and more. There's traveling. So that's an opportunity for the Philippines. Saw the Dominican Republic come back from 17 points down to beat Argentina and knock them out of the World Cup last night. So yeah, it does happen. Although once you get up into the 20s, it becomes really complicated, and that's where it is right now. And finally gets it back. Pass. Thompson goes up. Good work there. Jordan standing around on defense just a little bit. Right under the right under the basket. Ashraf Al Hindi. Right here, number six. Oh boy, that was beautiful. Just kind of hung in the air. It looked like he was going to charge, but he was able to kind of float in. He read the defense well. Back to a 23 point lead. Malonzo is in the house. It's not just his dunks. This is where Philippines have to be better. Wide open for three, and Al Hindi joins the three point shooting party. Five different players have already hit three pointers for Jordan. Brownlee right at the line. Abbas, will it be another three for him? Yes, it will. Folks, this is uh, scintillating stuff here from Jordan. I hope you're watching in Amman, because if you're not, you're missing quite a display of marksmanship from Jordan. 10 of 16. Look at that number there for Jordan from three-point range. Brownlee gets it to drop. 49-27. You know, Jordan are hitting a lot of open threes. So if you're not going to guard them, they're in the flow right now. They're going to keep taking them until they miss them. Ibrahim off one foot. And perhaps a uh, little, that's his game, although maybe a little bit too much one-on-one. -on -one. Vena back over to Thompson. That's good. Scotty Thompson, beam me up, Scotty. Back to a 19 point deficit. 541 remaining in the second quarter. Good job, Kiefer. 
giving it to his wide open teammate, then gives him the high five. So timeout, Jordan. Keep shooting the ball, but, but the Marcus defensively, we give them to get going. They get the first shot, second shot. If we don't contest their shot, they're going to make it. Contest every shot on defense. Okay, on offense, keep moving the ball. Keep moving the ball. Let's on, one time, let's on fire for Hindi. Let's go. Boom, he's coming. Stay here. Then Kaden, you pick him back. Here we go. After you pick, we'll hand off with Freddy. Pick Hindi. Freddy, if you can beat me, it's on. Come on, on. 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 Hands in, hands in, hands in. Hey, hey. One, two, three. Hey, hey. One, two, three. Hey, hey. comes into the game for the first time. Ahmed. Excuse me, Caden on a on a Dawi. You can see him wearing number 33. And there's the bump and the foul. Foul on number plays for Orthodox Amman, just 23 years of age. He's handing the ball off to Ibrahim. Uh, I mean, this is just so impressive. The 11th three-pointer of the game scored by Ashraf Al-Hindi. The second three. Brownlee takes it right to the hoop. Ibrahim goes to the corner. We can pass it around Jordan. Abu Hawass goes right past Malonzo, and then he thought Al Hindi was going to be over on the wing, and he wasn't. Dar Tucker comes back into the game. Right there, and that is beside himself. He knows he's got to make that. Philippines, Gilas have missed a few shots right at the rim. Oh, Al Nasdawi. Charges. It's an experience. Malonzo blocked from behind by Alnaj Dwali. Wow. So he makes amends for his charge. Ramos goes off of Al Naj Dwawi. So Fajardo is going to re-enter the game. Brownlee is going to go out. No, Hussein comes back in. Al Nasdawi goes out. So 
Nice little bit of experience for him. Perez flies in. Philippines have got to get used to Kind of cut, cut, cut out these finger rolls and flicks. They just need to lay it in. Here's Dar Tucker. And that ball rimmed out. It's the first time we've seen a, a three-point shot from Jordan. Looked like it was in. It stayed out. And the Philippines will be hoping there's more of that. For harder going up against Hussein. Passes outside. Malonzo! Well, if there's been a bright spot, at least on the offensive end, it's been that man right there. And now it's back to 17 points. They've trailed by as many as 25. Ibrahim Al Harmache, he's had his woes shooting it from deep. Perez into Fajardo. He's got to get this. He goes up and he is fouled by Dar Tucker. Dar Tucker knows he's got to be careful the way he talks to the Chinese Taipei referee. That was the man that's been carrying a bit. And again, this is Fajardo. Okay, he was surrounded pretty well. It's probably a bit harsh on him. But maybe instead of instead of waiting, just go up quickly and score. Show him something different. Gene Marfajardo. Soft touch for big number 15. Gets it back to a 16-point deficit for Philippines. Well, 16 points separate these two teams and for the first time in the game even though they've got the 16 point lead you feel like Jordan need a bucket to reassert themselves and Milonzo comes away with a steal and he just doesn't mess around he goes hard to the basket great stuff from Milonzo really the best player in this game for the Philippines. He's got eight points. He's got two rebounds. He's got a steal now to his tally. And he's got a missed free throw. Well above his average coming in just two and a half points per game against Lebanon the other day, though he had a really good game, 15 points. He is three of five from deep. Zai comes in. And Al Hindi goes out, having done his bit. Hit a couple of threes. So 10 points have been shaved off the deficit. There's Tucker. Alhar Marche, that's off. It's an air ball. It goes right to Hussein. He tried to get it back to Alhar Marche, and Fajardo deflected the pass. And now, good hands from Ibrahim. Scotty Thompson called for the foul with the reach around. Philippines trade some size and strength, putting Brownlee back in, sacrificing a little bit of quickness, perhaps a perimeter. Here is Ibrahim, and now he misses. You know the saying, you live by the three-point shot, you die by it. Maybe the Philippines are going to start missing. Here is Fajardo outside to Malonzo. Okay. 
And the whistle blows and the push from Brownlee. So Jordan called timeout. So we go boom, we go, that's the Shahe, we're coming, then Shahe set a good speed, we have the shot. But Shahe, after slipping, if they go, if they go, or if you see them, the big, the big guy, if he stays, he can pop after the big for Sammy. For a shot, and be ready to shoot. Let's finish this corner good, let's go, let's go, guys. We are 15, okay, so no, no need to feel bad. We're playing good, we're playing really good. Come on, but we need to challenge the shots. Don't over Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We need to go. Don't relax because we're up. 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 Sixteen points for Freddie in the first half. Crucial really 140 here at the end of the first half. And Tucker drives in, shouts and one, helps out the referee, and indeed he has got a chance for a three-point play. The problem there was Ramos, first of all, biting on the pump fake. So it takes him out of the picture. He just blows right past him. And then Malonzo got over a little bit too late. And once again, Dart Tucker having a, a nice game. He's enjoying himself. Ten points. Brownlee, right from the elbow. And that was an air ball. So Jordan scored 33 points in the first quarter. In this quarter, they've scored 22, and they've been outscored, in fact, 25-22. The Philippines is doing a little bit better on both ends. Here's Perez, and he is fouled. Block on Alhan Mache. No, Freddie Ibrahim, excuse me. Now well, Perez can get it down to a 14-point game. Now, thank you for Jordan here. Unless the path to the basket just opens up wide, you might want to take a little bit of time on your next possession. You don't want Philippines to get this deficit down to 10 points. Tucker. Uh, Tucker takes the contact. 10 seconds on the shot clock. So Tucker gets uh, another foul on Malanza. Tucker is a perfect player in this situation to give him the ball and let him drive because he is so strong. It's going to be difficult to get a ball away from him. And then he can just take the punishment and get to the free throw line.
Hashem Abbas in the game for Jordan as well as Al Hamashe, Bazai Hussein, and Tucker. So Ibrahim sitting down. He's got two fouls, and his coach doesn't want to pick up a third. The Philippines, meanwhile, Brownlee, Fajardo, Malonzo, Perez, and Ramos. Final minute of the first half. A little bit better in the second quarter from Philippines. So about a 10 second difference from the game clock and the shot clock. I see my boss had that rebound. Now here's Tucker. The Zai left wide open and knocks down the three. Well, they're going to get the open looks. They're going to take them. 3rd three-pointer for Bazai and reaching in. Look at that, Abbas. They've still got time if they hurry. Tucker, he puts it up. And I wouldn't have been surprised if that went down the way they shot the basketball. So Jordan extend their lead back to 19 points. So a little bit of a blow there for the Philippines. That three-pointer from Bazai. The 12th three-pointer of the game for Jordan, shooting 50% from deep, and Jordan leading at 60 to 41 over Gilas at halftime. Well, these numbers, look at the shooting numbers. I mean, 67%. Uh, Second half underway. Brownlee bounce pass to Fajardo, knocked out of his hands. Now Dart Tucker has it for Jordan. Dart Tucker pulls up and banks it in. There's Fajardo, just had the ball knocked away by Mo Hussein. Takes his time, good footwork. Now he's going to get it back. And offensive foul called against Philippines. So the foul, well, he took one for the team, Alphard Marche. You see, he is really winded. Here it is again. Oh, yeah, he stuck him with his right elbow. Caught on video. And those are the plays that keep Al Marche in this team. Maybe his stats aren't as big, but he does things like that. He guards in the low post. He takes the punishment. Three-point shot, no good. Uh, but a foul, no, nope, it's going to be Philippines basketball.
Brownlee for three. And the ball stolen. Milonzo crosses midcourt. This is just incredible. And Brownlee again in great position to score. Philippines hustle down. And this will be a dagger if it goes. It does not. A dagger, I say, because it would hurt so badly to miss a layup. But, oh, another charge. Good job, Jordan, getting into position. And the frustration continues for the Philippines. Scotty Thompson. So Brownlee able to knock down that shot, but then Tucker had his feet set. Ready. Look at Tucker now getting in and battling away, but blocked from behind. Brownlee. Spinning, missing. Freddy up the floor, and Mo Hussein, I don't think he's going to catch that. And how about that going down Malonzo trying with the sensational dunk doesn't complete it and Jordan Hussein bumped by Brownlee and will go to the line. The thing that's strange to me is how the Philippines quickness should not be an issue for this team so they should be able to get out and guard those three point shooters and it's that incredible three point shooting start by Jordan which has given given him this commanding lead and now playing catch up against him is really tough Hussein goes in makes the two free throws. And the drive and the basket for Brownlee. Alhar Marche off the front of the iron, but the long rebound goes out to Dar Tucker. He misses. Alhar Marche follows. He can't get it to go. Now Mo Hussein. And it's Milonzo that comes away with it. Gives it to Heading. And Brownlee for three. You can count that. And maybe that is the sequence that is going to get the Philippines on track. Closing the gap to 15. Alhar Marche. That was long. Maybe not the shot to take in that situation. And Wasim Alsus is told the table he wants a timeout. They need to push the reset button. Oh, great block by Tucker. And the ball stolen by Bazai. Here's Tucker, and he is foul. Oh, unsportsmanlike foul. So Ramos has his shot blocked, and then he goes down to Commission Sportsmanlike. Not a good sequence for Dwight Ramos. I mean, come on, Dwight Ramos. It's just not going to fly. Physicality is okay, but not that type of physicality. And suddenly the rally has uh, come to an end 
Barbary Parks back in the game and Ramos is going to sit down and reflect. We have a head coach's challenge for the Philippines. Hmm. Uh, Chant Reyes is going to challenge against Sportsman like. So the question is, is that a basketball play? Was he going for the ball? Did he make contact like a hard bump without going for the ball before reaching in? I guess if anything, it gives Philippines a chance to Get away from it seemed like the momentum was back with Jordan, so you slow that down. Well, they're taking a good look at it. And as expected, it was unsuccessful. So no more coaches challenges for the Philippines. So Tucker is at the line for two free throws and Jordan will maintain possession. I think generally the video replays to confirm or to look at those uh, calls has uh, been a great addition to basketball. Maybe uh, in that instance, took a little bit longer than it needed to, in my opinion. But because you don't want to disrupt the flow of the game. So Jordan, this could be a big trip down the floor, but they do not score with the additional possession. And now Philippines need to get something going here. 15 and a half minutes remaining. Nice handoff to Brownlee. And he'll go to the line for a potential three-point play. Fourteen points. The difference. Here comes Abbas. Abbas. Air ball. And Melanza call for the foul. Boxing out Zaid Abbas.
So 39 year old Abbas at the free throw line and gets the first one to go. And Abbas makes both. So 16 points back in front now for Jordan. And Dark Tucker knocks it out of Bobby Ray Park's hands and out of bounds. Bobby Ray can hit like uh, two or three pointers in a row to trigger a run. And you'd like for them to get him open. Obviously, that's why Heading is in as well, both of those guys. But Jordan will know that Bobby Ray Parks wants to get loose. He hands it off to Brownlee and gets it to go. Who also wanted to nan one, but he doesn't get it. Heading. Oh, gets blocked by a boss. Follows up the miss. Lays it up and in. Good job by Heading sticking with it. So back to a 14 point game. I mean, it's still there to be won for the Philippines. If they can get some Scott, some stops. That's a good finish, a good shot rather by Brownlee. And then heading alertly, stays with it. And goes in for the layup. Timeout. Let's go down and listen to what Wasim Al Sous has to say. We need to get back on defense. Zuzu, when that happened, guys, not for me. I can't challenge. I know. Listen to me. Stop talking to that. When that happened, that we should have had it. I can't challenge. Let me know. Philippines have not been this close in quite some time, not since the midway through the first half. Even before that, Abbas. Crucial possession for Jordan really coming out of the timeout. And offensive foul. Abbas. Well, it would be quite some comeback if Philippines were to win this game. Changes are going to be made here by Alsus. Here's Brownlee, and he is fouled. Habas doesn't want to react like that and get a technical.
So he misses the first. Second one is good. Tucker has it knocked out of his hands. Here's a chance for Gilas. Good defense by Abbas to slow Brownlee. It leaves Thompson open. He gets it back to heading. Oh, boy, that was the big one. Brownlee there for the offensive rebound. Shares the basketball to Thompson. Look at this. Gilas looking like they were dead and buried, closing the gap to nine. And for the first time, the ball knocked away from Dart Tucker on that previous break. Oh, boy, you don't want to take that shot. Tucker, though, offensive rebound, brings it back out. Tucker steps back. And this is where you miss Aldwari. You want to get at least to the free throw line to be able to feed it to your post, low post, instead of shooting fadeaway three-pointers with a hand in the face. Jordan just attempted two of those. Brownlee from deep. Get us. Unrecognizable from the team that we watched in the first half. Now trail by just six points. Brownlee, look at that, 29 points. He has gone from being average to superstar quality here in the third quarter. Oh, boy, that was a tough drive and tough finish. Abbas. Brownlee and loses it. It goes out of bounds. Brownlee hitting the three on the previous possession. Ibrahim, shots not falling for Jordan. You live by it, you die by it. Malonzo, over to Bobby Ray Parks. You cannot count that. That would have brought the house down. From the corner and offensive rebound. My boss is uh, bringing it, doing some of the dirty work. Scored down low, but they can't keep the basketball away from Gilas. Bobby Ray. And once again, Philippines trail by just six points here in the final minute of this third quarter. Alsus just wants to get back to the bench with a lead, a couple of baskets or three. Ideally, they get a score here. Try to disrupt this momentum. Tucker. And again, that is the issue. You take a lot of threes, you live by the threes, and when the threes do not keep falling, you've got to go. You've got to go inside. Uh, Philippines wishing they could have been awarded possession there, but they don't. And the ball goes off of Alhar Marche 
And out of bounds, and Hussein now showing a, a little bit of anger. Certainly a player whose uh, temperament comes into question at times. Malonzo at the Brownlee. Here is Ramos. Gets it to the corner. Malonzo. Oh! And Malonzo has been really good at times in this game. Misses. So Jordan, you feel like the word is appropriate. Clinging, clinging to a 70-64 lead over the Philippines. Ten minutes remaining. So Philippines uh, numbers going up, up to 55 percent now inside the arc. Jordan's, look at that. Overall numbers, Jordan now 12 of 36 from deep. They were shooting 50% at halftime. They missed all their threes in that quarter. Here's a look back at the third quarter highlights. Of course, really the star performer coming to life. Heading also bringing a spark when he came back in, as did Bobby Ray Parks. Brownlee with 29 points, 11 of 19 from the floor, 10 rebounds. Jordan out of sync as the game speeds up a little bit here. So this is uh, Brownlee's game to win or lose. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking he's got 29 and 10, double-double man. Justin Donta, double-double Brownlee. Fourth quarter underway and wow, getting free. And Abu Hawass hitting a shot that just you can't place a, a value just too high on that one. From a momentum standpoint, from a vibe standpoint. Uh, but the big question is, can they stop that man? I mean, he could finish with 40 today easily. He's got 31. Ibrahim and Abu Hawass this time unsuccessful gets it back excuse me Alahar Marche Brownlee and now he's feeling it folks to put it mildly thirty four and just his second game for this Gilas team. That was one slick move too many for Freddie. Here comes Ramos driving in, scoring over Alhar Mache. Are Jordan going to have enough to repel this Philippines team? They have got the bit between the teeth right now. Closing the gap to four. Abu Hawass. He is just clutch. Bigger the moment, the better he plays.
Ramos for three. Bobby Ray saves it. Heading misses the layup. But the foul called. Two free throws, a reach, and a slap. And the players look under the basket. They're frustrated that the referee under the basket didn't make the call. So it's on Al Harmache. Well, if it's a foul, it's a foul. So heading sinks the first. And the second. Just feel like this is the key moment in the game here. Abbas has really played important minutes here. He's been good. Not that time. And that was the bump by Hashem Abbas. I mean, he's got to be an important player for Jordan because that would be an issue for them, in my opinion, is the depth in the squad and also moving forward. Because some of these guys aren't going to play forever. He's 23. And clearly not afraid of the big moment. He's bringing it on both ends. Quite a challenge here for Dark Tucker trying to contain Brownlee. Heading, meanwhile, goes in, misses. Abu Hawass guarding him. Now Tucker, a look at Tucker. And he will go to the line for two free throws. <laughs> Tucker, the entertainer, looking at the camera. Thank you very much, Dar. So the question is, have the Philippines had their run and now Jordan are going to stabilize things again with Freddy, Abu Hawass, and Dark Tucker on the court. That doesn't help him. He came into this game shooting at a very good clip, 79.5%. And you know, Dark Tucker gets to the line a lot. And today he's six of seven. So again, back to a six point game. Bobby Ray, oh, he was left open, didn't look for a shot. Here's the drive, and nobody picks up Scotty Thompson. Confusion in the Jordan defense. Tucker gets in, loses control, gets it back, decides to put up a three. And that was just bad, Dart Tucker. Now Brownlee. And the basketball goes the other way. I mean, Dart Tucker did a great job to get the basketball back, but then he attempted a shot from the corner that went off the side of the backboard. Just value the possession a little bit more. I'm sure he knows a lot more about the game than I do, but that was uh, pretty obvious. There is Tucker passing over to al Marche and well short. And Jordan have definitely lost their mojo. Here is a three-pointer. It's a one-point game. Brownlee. You're going to want to remember this game. And I'll tell you what, there might just be a little debate moving forward about which naturalized player is going to play for this team. Dar Tucker drives in. Takes it back to a three-point game. Not much room for error now for Jordan. And that was a good play. Look at that. Abu Hawass. Oh. Almost traveled. I said it before a couple times, and I'll say it again. Abu Hawass just has a knack for making huge plays. 
And there is Alhar Marche. Coming up empty on the putback attempt. This will tie it. Bobby Ray Parks! They've come all the way back. And no matter how you slice it, folks, blowing a 25-point lead for Jordan is not good. Are they going to find the answers here in the fourth quarter? Alhar Marche! Maybe they just want to have a little bit of drama. Five minutes remaining. The wind is in the sails of the Philippines. Bobby Ray. Thompson. Oh, boy, look at him pass it. Bobby Ray from the top. Almost. Thompson the rebound. They stick with it, and Philippines come away with nothing. Hashim Abbas with the rebound. I don't know why Jordan do this, but they always play these remarkable games. Here's Alhar Marche, short off the rim. And again, Philippines, will they look inside? Will they dribble, penetrate, pass it back out? Yes. And Ramos takes the bump from Hashim Abbas. Well, he's giving great minutes, but just wondering what the plus minus is with him on the court. I'm just going to check that. Probably a bit unfair. Yeah, they're minus four when he's been on the court, but I mean, he's been a player that's been doing a lot of good things. The problem is their shooting percentage has gone down from deep to 34.88%. Jordan now 15 of 43 from deep. So coming back out of the timeout. Four minute mark coming up and Philippines putting it up from deep and Ramos missing. Good job Thompson chasing it down in the corner before it goes out of bounds. Here's Jordan heading from deep. Interesting. Brownlee's gonna check back in. The next dead ball. Abu Hawass and Jordan are just falling in love with that three-point shot today. Here is Ramos. And now for some reason, Philippines also not attacking the basket. At least when you get your feet wet, you might be able to draw a foul, get to the get to the, the free throw line. There you go. That's better. Abbas. Catches it and oh, he misses the shot though. Shares it to Bazai. Dar Tucker drives in. And nobody stepped in front of Dar Tucker. Nobody guarded him. And he just sailed in for the dunk. Bobby Ray Parks on the drive. See what I mean? Get your feet wet. Get into the paint. Attack the rim. And get to the free throw line. I think that's Scotty Thompson who doesn't. No, it wasn't. It was Mason Amos. 
who just stood and watched Tucker. Now, it could be that he was just like, I'm not going to stop him. I don't want to give him a three-point play, but Tucker, in my opinion, get out and offer some tepid defense on the perimeter and let him put up the threes because they're not hitting him. Don't let him drive to the basket. Here's Bobby Ray Parts. I'm convinced that's the key for the Philippines now. They have got to drive. Had a couple straight possessions where they were putting up three-pointers and allowed that lead uh, to grow a little bit for Jordan. So Parts makes both free throws. So Ramos called for a foul on Abbas, Zaid Abbas. And one one issue that Jordan also have is that they've got they're going to be over the limit on fouls, and that's going to be a problem. Both of these teams getting the bonuses. They've both been shooting their free throws very well, so it really behooves I think Jordan as well to try to get those high percentage looks. You've not hit your three pointers in the second half. Get it down low. Here's the drive and doesn't catch it cleanly. Bazai goes out of bounds. Doesn't catch it at all, in fact. Alonzo over to Perez has come back into the game. Here's Brownlee. This is what you want. Just take it to the rack, big fella. A one-point game. Freddie passes on the three, drives in, is rejected, but he gets fouled. Bradley is going to have a lot of new fans after this game. Look at this. Runway, takeoff, and almost unlucky not to get a foul called there on the bus. Look at this, because he definitely got him on the on the right arm. Ibrahim is good at the line. Perfect today. And again, typically not a player that you want to foul. Shoots about 77% coming in. Especially when the games are tight. Nothing but net. Back to a three-point lead. Encouraging comeback from Gilas, but it's not, not going to matter for anything if they don't win. Now, uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable lack of emotional control by Jordan here to get a technical foul. At what point? At what point do you learn in your career? I mean, a boss, an amazing player, person, but at 39 years of age, you just cannot bicker with the referee and complain. Okay, so now you've fouled out of the game. So I think it was because he messed with the basketball after it fell through the hoop. A little bit of gamesmanship there. Wasn't quite as much of a loss of emotional control as I suspected. So he batted the ball away, but if he's been warned, or if they've been warned. I like how, I like how Wasim Alsus listens politely and then gets his point across firmly. And that's how it needs to be done. So here's Bobby Ray Parks. At the free throw line and takes advantage. And now the, now the big problem the Philippines have is how do they stop Brownlee? I don't think they can stop him. Unless they're able to reach in and knock it away and go the other way for a fast break. And if, you're the, if you're the Philippines and you're not going to Brownlee now, I don't know what you're doing. So they give him the basketball. He drives, passes to the corner. Now Perez 
Back to Brownlee for three. Here's the follow. It's a tie game. Malonzo. If I'd been Brownlee, I would have driven, but at the end of the day, hard to argue with a man who's poured in 39 points. And Thompson called for the foul, getting wrapped up. Malonzo did some good work in the first quarter, and here he is with his biggest two points of the game. Eighty-eight apiece, and this is after Philippines trailed by twenty-five points. However, Scotty Thompson's foul on Freddie Ibrahim has put him on the line. Now I haven't, I didn't want to jinx Freddie. So I think what happened there was they messed, they messed with the ball. Well, they fouled before the inbounds play. That's why they get the one free throw. It's less than two minutes. That is the punishment. So it's almost like a technical foul. Bounce pass. Are you kidding me? What a time. What a time for Caden Al-Najadawi to come in and dunk it. But Brownlee answers to close the gap back to one. A minute and a half remaining. They go for the basketball. And it's Philippines hoop. Look at this. Ibrahim. Smart play waiting for his big to roll to the basket, which he did. And he knows what he's going to do with it there. And it was smart that Malonzo did not go for the block or else he would have had a three-point play. He would have had an and one. And now is the moment when Gilas can take the lead. So that play happened as well in a game that I was covering last yesterday. The French game, yeah, France committed that same foul, fouling a team as they tried to inbound the basketball with less than two minutes, and that sends a player to the free throw line, and that's what happened here. Now they're going to, okay, so they're, Jordan are challenging this call, saying it should be their basketball. They're going to review it. The ball went out of bounds, and it was awarded to the Philippines. And this might just be more in hope than in the belief that it's actually going to be your bat, your ball, just because you don't want to finish the game without using your challenge. We're not seeing the video for some reason. Doc Tucker just winked to the camera and drew a reaction. Come on, Dark. Listen to your coach. Because Chot Rays had good reason not to panic when his team trailed by 25 points because uh, they've been able to come back. They've jumped on the back basically of Brownlee, who now has 41 points, and gotten themselves back into contention. But this is really going to stir the debate about squad selection. Because we all know what the other option is for this Philippines team when it comes to who they want to have in their team will it be because right now Jordan Clarkson takes that naturalized role. And don't forget Kai Soto is not even here today nor Anj Kuomi so it's a lot of important decisions about the squad have to be made going forward. 
Okay, so they win the coach's challenge and Jordan get the basketball back. We never saw it for some reason. I don't know why. I'm totally confused now. Out of bounds challenge accepted. Anyway, because it was Jordan that issued it. So here is Brownlee over to Bobby Ray Parks, misses the three. Didn't need a three. You don't need a three here either if you're Jordan. Zai al Hamashay looking to pass it. And Malonzo reaches in, knocks it away from al Naj Dawi. al Naj Dawi. He has got to get his hands on that ball strong and go up. That is back in the game. Seems like the, the game has kind of slowed to a crawl here in the last couple of minutes. After we had that, he's saying he was he was fouled. We have to see it again. So timeout on the court. No foul. Here it is again. No, no foul there. And it looks like the ball did go off of Malonzo. But we've got the benefit of slow mo replay. Now, referees do have the ability to review it. In the last couple minutes, double double, 22 points, 11 rebounds. For Dar Tucker. Ramos for three. Bobby Ray Parks back outside to Brownlee again. Another three. No. And the offensive rebound and put back and the foul on Hussein. And you give a team two or three chances. Can't give away that offensive rebound. I'm almost shocked Philippines are going for three pointers though. Just think that they need to drive to the basket. But anyway, they still get to the free throw line. So Scotty Thompson. Ooh. Brutal. This is the first, first attempt of the day. 
66% shooter coming in, six of nine in the qualifiers. He makes this. He does not. Two free throw misses. Oh, goodness me. Talk about lucky. Jordan right now riding their luck. Ibrahim more than happy to take time off the clock. He needs to keep it. If he draws the foul, he'll go to the line. No, he passes it. Alhar Marche, that's an air ball. Philippines have a chance. They got to go. Four, three, quickly. He's got to put it up. Did he get it off in time? Yes, he did. And Bobby Ray Parks puts it off the glass. And unfortunately for Gilas, a couple of late missed free throws will loom large. And Jordan somehow, some way, hold on for a thrilling win. And now Abbas is like, hey, it's okay. You called it technical. You fouled me out of the game, but we won. So I take your point. Don't interfere with the basketball when it goes through the hoop. Jordan win it 91 to 90 over the Philippines. And uh, disappointment for Scotty Thompson. He knows he could have put his team in front, but that's sports. Come back stronger next time. Ramos up to Bobby Reed Parks, who had the spin. He did well, to be honest, to get it off just in the nick of time. But so often you see Bobby Ray Parks, when he catches it, almost waits a split second feet set before he puts it up. He had no time to waste there. He had to kind of rush his shot. And you always feel, you feel disappointed for the players who don't make the free throws at the end of the game. I mean, it's, it's a painful, at least in this case, it's not, it's not something that keeps uh, Philippines from getting to the World Cup, obviously. So next time he'll make them. Jordan 18 to 20 from the line, 17 to 22 the Philippines, but missing a couple big ones there at the end. Gilas ended up with one more rebound, nine more assists. Just goes to show you how much Jordan was relying on that, that three-point shooting in the first half, 41 for Brownlee. And Jordan are going to be happy campers as they go back. I think they can build on this. Clearly with Al Dwari not playing, they didn't have the inside option that they normally have. He does so many things well for them with his passing. Uh, but they've been able to come and win on the road. And Al Seuss is talking to Freddie, and it's, that's good coaching right there. While the moment is there and you want to get a message across, do it right then while it's fresh in your mind. And Jordan can be a tough team for any, any team that they're going to play at the World Cup. Don't think that this is not a team uh, that is not going to that is not going to scare some opponents. They're going to keep games close. They only lost by four to the Dominican Republic in 2019. They did beat Senegal. And 2010 FIBA Basketball World Cup, they had some memorable games as well. And I think as a, as a country, as a national team, they're probably better now than they were then. So it'll be interesting to see how they fare. Brownlee was sensational. And again, the whole talk about the national nat naturalized player is going to heat up after this performance. You got, got various options you can go with. And there are a lot of good players in the mix for the Philippines that are not here. I just, I just don't understand late. Philippines were attempting three-pointers instead of going hard to the basket. You could say that the middle was closed off, but I don't think so. I think they could have gotten the ball in there and they could have uh, tried to get to the line more often. And At the end of the day, the Philippines, again, were 11 of 32 from three-point range, 20 of 43 inside the arc. 
the shot away from the free throw line. Sadly, not well in the final seconds as uh, Scotty Thompson missed two big free throws. Jordan were just far better in the first half than the second. They were outscored in the, se in the third quarter, 23 to 10, and then in the fourth quarter, 26 to 21. And it was just a tale of two halves for them, but they had done enough, just enough, in the first half to win the game. So, one thing that you, you're almost always guaranteed when Jordan played, a game like this. I mean, it, it always ends up being close. It feels like their games are just crazy close. There it is. Saw Bazai almost uh, forgot to get back on defense there at the end, but here's Jordan celebrating. It's been a successful, successful weekend. So they beat India 98-63, but this was the game they really wanted to win, having also won on November 13th against New Zealand, 92 to 75. So they also avenged their earlier defeat to the Philippines, although the Philippines uh, won that one 74-66 in Amman, and Amman rather in November. So Jordan get to the World Cup, and now what are they going to do? Philippines obviously miss out on the chance to leapfrog Lebanon into second place. New Zealand finished top. And that's it for these two teams here in the Asian qualifiers for the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And we look at all of the teams from Asia that will be there. Australia, China, New Zealand, Lebanon, Jordan, Iran, Japan, and Philippines as the hosts. And uh, look at the Americas lineup in Europe. Go to FIBA.basketball or go and then Basketball World Cup, and you can see all the information that you need. Follow all the qualifiers. A lot more games coming up in Europe and the Americas tonight. You love it. Thanks for watching, everybody.